Despite a challenging economic and operating environment in 2022, we delivered a strong set of financial results. We noted a better mortality experience overall as the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic eased. This allowed us to release our COVID-19 provisions in full. However, our customers were under significant financial pressures which negatively impacted our persistency experience. Despite this, Life AP sales were up 21% with risk sales comfortably above 2019 levels. We managed to grow our value of new business by 48%, with our VNB margin falling comfortably in the middle of our target range of 6 to 9%. Our total RF4 was lower due to a non-repeat of a provision release on our loan book in the prior year. However, our life RF4 was up 20%, which was a pleasing performance. We maintained a conservative lending approach with a 5% increase in the loan book. Our credit loss ratios and net lending margins were also better than our long-term target ranges despite the tough environment. We grew our old mutual rewards customer base by 30%, with more benefits emerging from increased cross-sell and upsell opportunities. We also entered several partnerships and transactions that will further enable our strategic delivery. This includes the buyout of the minority shareholders in old mutual finance and the acquisition of a strategic equity stake in the Two Mountain Group, a micro insurance business with extensive distribution and funeral service capabilities. In 2023, we expect the external environments to remain quite challenging and tough. However, I am confident that we will maintain the positive sales momentum by positioning our portfolio of channels to deliver an optimized mix of advice and non-advice products, continuing to focus on cross-sell initiatives, growing our old mutual rewards customer base even further, and delivering acceptable credit experience with a desired profitability outcome. And lastly, strengthening our strategic partnerships that will help us enhance our end-to-end -end value chain and distribution capability. I want to acknowledge the MFC team for showing up and for continuing to fight to blow back market share, credibility, and competitive advantage. I am deeply grateful and privileged to lead such a talented and passionate team. I look forward to working with all of you in 2023 as we build on this momentum.